Hey, uh, thanks for clicking on the video guys. Uh, I have got a surprise. I have just finished this absolutely gorgeous Rancota Sabre Hilt. It is super nice. It's got battle damage as you can see here. Loads of battle damage on it. Um, and it's also been weathered. And the leather that I've used is crocodile leather. Which is really, really cool. So it gives it a really good look. Got damaging on the pommel as well. Uh, it's just a really, really nice saber, man. I mean, the uh, I've done this kind of, um, I've done this switch section before, uh, but I really like it. I have given it a little bit of a change on this one, um, but yeah, I mean, as you can see, it's really nice. And it's got some really, really nice detail. You've got the little leather things on there. I don't know what you call them. But a really, really nice hilt, man. And this will be going on sale in my shop in the next couple of days, or within the next week. Uh, but yeah, I just really wanted to show everybody how nice this hilt is. The damage on there. You've got the recharge port at the back this time. So rather than being at the front, you've just got the one switch on the front. So it's really nice. Really, really good. It's on RGBX or near pixel. Uh, just look at the damage though. The damage is so cool on that. It really is awesome. I hope you like it, guys. It's a really nice hill. I'll put a blade in so you can have a quick look. It's not locked in place, but... Got loads of profiles. So, yeah, it's also got gesture controls. How do you turn it off? Ah, right. Uh, also, just to mention the stitching on the back as well. Really, really nice hand stitched on the back there. So it's really, really good. It's a really, really nice, really clean. But battle damaged and weathered, but really clean finished hilt. Uh, and it feels really nice. Uh, the leather is actually a lot thicker than the normal level. This is about 2 mil thick, this leather. Uh, so it's, uh, it's got a good thickness to it. It's, it feels really nice holding that. Uh, the normal leather has a different feel to it. This feels just as grippy. You can hold on to that just as well. Um, but because of the texturing, and it does actually have texturing this because it is uh, real leather. Uh, because of that, it does give it a, a really, really nice feel. Um, and it's just a really nice hilt. If you wanted to take this leather off, you can do, and you'll just have, um, you'll just have like the metal below that, so it makes it a very good joint point if you want to hold it that way. But it's inside with yourself. You don't have to have the thing on. It will come with this anyway, as standard, uh, and then you just lock it in place with the little locking nut at the top. Which I'll just show you there. So it's a really, really fine, really small locking nut, and it really doesn't stand out, so you don't really see it, but it just works. It just works so well. Somebody suggested I make one of these, and I was a bit, mm, I don't know. And I thought about it, and I thought about it, I thought, well, you know what, actually? Yeah, I will uh, I will make this, because it does look, it does look really good. You've got your uh, blaster damage there, got some more damage on the blade. Got damage on the uh, pommel. Just a really, really nice saber, man. It's really good. All the rivets are actually sunken rivets, so there's no rivets actually standing out this time, which is something I've only done once before on the Dragon Slayer. Uh, but yeah, so uh, that's a Rancota, man. Uh, really happy with it. Really like it. Hope you like it too. Please give it a like. Please give a comment. Uh, what, see, tell me what you think. Shall I go with black leather? I nearly went with black leather for the grip on here and it was just jet black but it was really nice or should I go with my normal leather that I use on the um, the god sword you know what what do you think let me know I look forward to your comments so yeah I hope you like it guys it's a really nice saber really really nice 
Hey, thank you for watching the whole video. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you've got to the end of the video, uh, if you just got a few seconds, just click the like, become a subscriber. I've got loads of content that's going to be coming out to this channel all year round. Uh, there's going to be lots of build videos on here, so it's going to be really, really great. Uh, just so you know, I now have Patreon. So just for $3, you can get 10% off anything on my store and also uh, you'll get the full build video so not just part one part two etc the full build video in one go will all be there for you so it's really really good content check it out it's a huge help to me thank you for watching and i will see you in the next update